Hi, welcome to the CCSK versus CCSP video. Here uh, we are going to talk about the difference between CCSP and CCSK exams and certifications. At times people are usually confused between uh, these two certifications, which one they should go for and um, why they should go for uh, CCSP and why they should go for CCSK. Primarily, two questions uh, people have there in mind. Um, what is the difference between these two certifications? Which certification I should do or I should go for? So we are going to answer both of these questions uh, as part of this video. Um, here, when we talk about ISC Square CCSP and CSA uh, CCSK, um, CCSP is jointly launched by ISC Square and CSA in 2015, uh, while CCSK, it was industry's first cloud security certification, which was launched in 2011 by CSA, um, where uh, the CCSP is, uh, um, is the open book, is the, is the closed book exam, which is uh, supposed to be uh, you know, uh, taken at the specific uh, centers uh, which are um, uh, organized by Pearson. And um, whereas the CCSK exam is the open book online, you can take this exam from home. And uh, it is open book primarily, um, and there is no proctor uh, online to monitor your activities. Uh, in terms of CCSP, it is uh, it requires the CPE um, and uh, AMF annual maintenance fee, which is uh, 125 US dollars, uh, which is requires on annual basis to maintain this certificate. And uh, CPE is um, is the continuous uh, need to ensure that you are uh, in touch uh, of the content, you are uh, contributing to the society in terms of the cloud security, and uh, you are learning regularly. So you have to earn the CPEs points uh, to maintain this certificate. Where uh, on CCSK side, there is no need to maintain the CPEs. Uh, there is no need to pay the annual maintenance fee. Uh, once you earn the certificate, um, CCSK, um, it is yours. So no need to pay uh, annual fee and no need to uh, earn the, uh, the uh, CPE points for that. In terms of the syllabus for the exam, um, there are six domains in uh, ISC Square uh, CBK, Common Body Knowledge. Um, this requires the experience and um, problem solving skills to um, sit in the exam. Um, of course, uh, because the kind of exam and kind of questions which are coming up uh, in the CCSP exam are, are quite um, tough and uh, requires really good experience in cloud security and you need to be good in the problem solving skills. There are six domains which are um, part of the CCSP exam. Cloud concept architecture and design, uh, cloud data security, platform and infrastructure security, cloud application security, cloud security operations, legal security, and compliances. And also, uh, one last is the um, this includes the CSA uh, guidance as well. Um, the primary uh, resource, which is uh, for the CCSK exam. Because this exam is uh, launched by ISC Square and CSA, so it is important to consider the CSA guidance as well. And uh, this gives you the, the good idea about the governance and all. Um, uh, there are uh, different domains in CSA guidance, so it is, it is also required for CCSP exam. Uh, for CCSK, uh, there are predefined three books which are required freely available at the uh, uh, Cloud Security Alliance. Uh, you can download them as a preparation kit. Uh, one is CSA guidance, another is the uh, cloud control metrics, ENISA, cloud computing risk assessment. So these, these are the uh, primary resources which are required. Um, in terms of the syllabus, the CCSK is actually focused on testing knowledge. Um, CCSK is more of an objective type of exam uh, with, with the multiple choice. Uh, most exam items are based on the information in these three documents primarily. 
um, which you will see in the exam. While in CCSP, due to its focus on the testing um, both the books and um, experiential knowledge, uh, ex expect the exam items to be both objective and the problem solving type of questions uh, with, the, with the scenarios, uh, lengthy questions. Uh, of course, these are not subjective, but um, objective, but these are really lengthy questions uh, focused on the problem solving skills. Um, uh, those who have achieved the, the CISSP certificate, um, I think it is quite relatable uh, for that. In terms of the exam, um, cost and all, uh, how the exam structure look like. Um, the, the exam fee is 599 US dollars per attempt. Uh, if you fail once, you have to uh, you have to pay again the entire fee for the next attempt. Um, it is three hours long exam uh, where um, you need to uh, you need to uh, you know sit. Uh, you need to visit the uh, Pearson uh, Examination Center. You need to um, you will get uh, three hours to. Uh, take the exam and uh, this center is proctor monitored. Um, you will have to follow the guidelines there at the center. 125 questions in the exam in three hours. Uh, out of these 125, 25 questions are non-scoring um, and you don't know which are those. 70% uh, marks required to pass the exam. Endorsement uh, is the requirement. Uh, once you pass the exam, it is not uh, by default that you will get the certificate. So you have to endorse, you will get the audit process and all that, and then only uh, you will be granted for the certification. On the CCSK, uh, the exam uh, fee is uh, 395 US dollars. That is for the two attempts. If you fail in the first attempt, you will still have one more attempt in the same examination fee. 90 minutes exam duration online. This is not proctor monitored. Um, you can open the book and you can um, answer the questions. Uh, but these questions are not pretty straightforward that you will open the book and you will find everything. It is not like that. You have to uh, do the thorough study and uh, then only it, it is going to be helpful. Otherwise, uh, I'm sure you're not going to fail if you just rely on the books. 60 questions in 90 minutes, 80% uh, marks required to pass the exam. No endorsement is required. If you score 80%, you will get the certificate. Experience requirement. So there is a stringent requirement uh, for CCSP. Five years is the experience requirement uh, that is there for CCSP. Um, uh, three years in info, information security, and one year uh, in cloud computing. Um, the CCSP also recognize the CCSK <coughs> certification. So if somebody is holding the CCSK uh, uh, certificate, then uh, he or she will get one years of uh, experience waiver. If somebody is holding CISSP uh, certification, then will get entire experience requirement waiver as part of that. So which certification I should go for? That is the another question that people usually ask and have their, in their mind. So it is it is very important to note that it really depends on the circumstances of each individual. But uh, the coverage wise CCSP is very comprehensive. If you are new to the cloud security, it would be preferable to um, go in for CCSK first and then attempt the CCSP uh, exam after gaining the prerequisite uh, knowledge. On the other hand, if you are an experienced IT security professional with enough exposure to the cloud security, you could directly go for CCSP exam. Also, the person with the, with CCSP certification means that um, that he or she is not just um, knowledgeable about the cloud security, uh, but has practical experience in the subject. Uh, however, if you are not very sure of your knowledge of the cloud security, it would be best to first attempt the CCSK um, exam before taking off uh, CCSP. Also, uh, the CCSK and uh, CCSP exams, they complement each other and uh, provide the professionals a way to demonstrate their competency level in the cloud security. Um, also, when deciding which certification to go for, it is important to first evaluate your current competency and experience um, 
in the in the cloud so if you go for the ccsk exam you can watch my videos for the uh, for all the domains uh, the link to these videos provided in the des description box if you are aspiring for the ccsp uh, exam then refer to my upcoming videos on uh, the ccsp domains and uh, technical topics and um, you can subscribe to the channel for the regular notifications thanks for watching